Hello, this is Tony Zagoni and Michael Zagoni from Zagoni Studios. Today we're going to give you a preview of the first installment of the 2022 lineup. What do you think? Oh, I think this is the first grouping of an installment and it's, it's really interesting how many different artists we have this year. Yeah, well we do here, we have two from our, our old reliable Bill Weistrom beautiful sculpts. I think they were both sculpted somewhere in the eight, early 80s. Okay, and I think this one was uh, Bee Fiend. It came with a, a collar and it actually wasn't very successful at the time, but now it's been remade into a, a primeval vampire. And we've modified the wig, it's beautiful. It's got a little bit of movement, wasn't designed to move at that time. And then it finished and, and you know, made it a character that people can recognize. So it's, it's one of those old decrepit uh, vampires. And we just really utilized, there were already some really nice fangs, so just add some blood. Okay. The other one from Bill Weistrom was the animal skull. And uh, this was done long, long before the current King Kong uh, Godzilla movie. But I think it kind of looks like a, one of those... Uh, uh, it was like a skull lizard type creature. Yeah. I don't remember what they're called. I think they were skull creepers, right? Skull creepers? Scrawlers? Yeah. Scrawlers. Makes sense. This happens to be finished in a UV, so the, the face, the bone turns white, blue, and a UV light. The transition here with black and UV green blends into this day glow hair that really screams bright green in a, in a UV light. And it's always a lot of fun too, because when you have it on, it still fits. So when you're running around, jumping around, all that UV light, all the UV hair, very cool to see. Okay, so that's uh, a little bit from the old, although they're completely new, the new finish, new paint jobs uh, from our old world of Be Something Studio. And now we have a couple from some new artists. This is from Pat. Pat Gearhart. Okay. Of and we saw some bomb, of his man. art and really liked it. Uh, this, I think we have a working name called the Reptilian. I don't know if that'll be the, the name that ends up in the catalog, but it's uh, kind of a, a beautiful reptile character. Mm -hmm. um, we painted it many different ways. It comes out pretty all the time. This is a kind of a standard reptilian look with a little bit of silver shine on it. Uh, good fit, good visibility, which is what we always ask for. Right. So uh, first one from Pat and uh, did a pretty good job there. Oh, I love the sculpt. Yeah. So. The last one for today is from Pete in Police. And there's a lot of plague doctors out there. We wanted something that's uh, easy to wear, comfortable, and then have its unique twist to it. So we've, we've come up with a, a beautiful painting, gory, gruesome eye hanging from it as if the uh, doctor is decaying right underneath the mask. Um, Good visibility, very comfortable, nothing on the back. Uh, so it's, uh, it's our version of the Plague Doctor. So next time we'll bring you a few more, maybe some old. <laughs> maybe some new. <laughs> yep, they're, uh, they're being finished as we speak and ready for the show in Las Vegas. All right, thank you. All right, bye-bye.